Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Bree. I come with a quick little message to you. And my message to you guys is it's always three stories, three sides to a story. Three sides of to a story. It's always three sides. The way you tell it happened, the way they tell it happened, and the way that it actually happened. You see, the devil knows if he can divide us, he wins. But if we learn to stand together, we can get so much accomplished. A lot of people choose to a, a lot of people choose to be an enemy to you. They choose not to support you. They choose not to work with you. They choose not to even get to know you for who you were. If only they knew working with you, y'all could put some so much work in together as a team. Now they sitting there watching you because they was too busy trying to destroy you instead of working with you. So God had to remove them from move, remove you from them, and now you're coming into your true true soul. Uh, excuse me, y'all. True soul tribe in your life to help you reach your full potential. See, people was jealous of your potential. They was jealous of you. They was eavesdropping on you. They was hacking your phones. They was watching you through hidden cameras. They was spying on you. They had your neighbor spying. They had your landlord spying. They had everybody around you spying on you. Your family been spying on you for years. They was using divination to spy on you. They was spying on you in any way they could possibly spy on you. Some people was driving a, uh, what is, some people even was flying a, uh, what is called, uh, a drone. People were even following drones to try to watch you, to try to get to know what you had going on. See, if only they would have stood with you. You by yourself, you put 10,000 arrests. So with them, you would have been, been able to put 100,000 arrests if they would just would have came together with you and choose not to be an enemy of yours. Choose not to hurt you. Choose not to betray you. Choose not to crop cross you, choose not to count you out, but they choose to count you out, and now they see that God is counting you in, and now as God is rising you up, they, they want to come back, they want to come back, and they want to come back, and they want to be part of your clique, they want to be part of your circle, they want to be part of your tribe, but see, they had their chance to be part of their tribe, see, they knew from the gate who you was to them, and what kind of what kind of fulfillment and destiny and, and enjoyment that you brought into their life. But see, they didn't want it with you. They wanted it with somebody else. So what they did is they betrayed you behind your back. They betrayed you behind your back and tried to hurt you, tried to destroy you, tried to assassinate your character, tried to do all these things to you because they didn't like you, because they didn't like who you was. They didn't like how you moved. They didn't like the things that you did. So God had to step in. He intervened on your behalf and he had to move you from out of that situation. He had to rise you up. He had to tell you to take your wife a step. He had to open up your throat chakra so that you could speak your truth. Remove the scales from your eyes so that you would be able to see the truth that was going on around you. And he had to give you the inner strength to stand in your boldness and tell what was going on. Speak about what was going on to be able, bring awareness to the people that was around you, to the people that was close to you. And a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people didn't like why you were speaking the truth. A lot of people didn't like that they were being exposed, but those were the people that were trying to count you out. So since, since they were trying to count you out and they tried to die and play who you was, God removed the scales from your eyes so that you could see people for who they really were. And then you start exposing them people and now they was mad. But God says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So it was no need for them to try to do anything to you because you was exposing them for who they truly were. But no, they choose to go behind the scenes and try to hurt and harm you in every which way that they possibly can. Some of y'all going to be surprised. It's going to blow y'all mind when stuff come out, the things that people were doing to you, trying to get your children taken from you, uh, putting cameras in your house, watching you, following you, going to your house when you're not there, setting you up, putting a dropping a bag on your head, doing all these things to take you out because they could not stand you because your light in, uh, in imita um, your light scared their demons. Your light intimidated their demons because they couldn't take who you was because they couldn't force you. You heard me? They can't stomach you. They can't stomach when you speak. They can't stomach you when you just get, when you just see your face. They can't stomach you because they're not you. And they try to do everything that they possibly can to imitate you, to be you every possibly way. But they couldn't be you because you, you, you. 
but they wanted to be you so bad. They wanted to act like you. They wanted to cook like you. They wanted to dress like you. They wanted to talk like you. They wanted to do all these things. These people went behind your back and, and stole stuff that was for you, that was rightfully yours. And now that they're reaping their karma, they want to come in with these po ass apologies, with these po ass I'm sorry. With these po ass, please forgive me. And all the rest of this bullshit to try to set you up so you can fall deeper in a deeper trap. See, these people want you to be all in your head. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be frustrated. These people wanted you to be homeless, left out. And now they want to come back because they're going through their trials and tribulations. Everything that they wished on you is happening to them. See, I keep telling y'all, you got to be careful of the seeds that you are sowing because you're going to reap the harvest. So make sure every seed that you are sowing, you sowing it on solid ground. See, because a lot of them, what they thought was they were sowing something on solid foundation with somebody else. You heard me? Come to find out that they were sowing, they was uh, planting their seeds on quicksand. And this as fast as they got into that shit, that shit fell. That fast. You heard me? Because they counted you out. Because they felt like they can do it with somebody else or somebody else can do it better. See, they had to learn the hard way. So now they want to come back and do this half ass apology to you. That fake ass stuff like they love you and all the rest. Of it. If they loved you, they would have never betrayed you. If they loved you, they would have never hurt you. If they loved you, when they was doing all of when they was moving flaky, they would have came to you like a, a woman or a man and told you what they was doing. But since they not a man or a woman, since they fake his ass, they won't come to you and they won't tell you what they did and how they did it. They got 50 million excuses why they can't come to tell you. Oh, because they scared of how you're going to react, but they wasn't scared about what they was doing. Now they intimidated. You wasn't intimidated when you was doing all that stuff. But now since you are in your power. Now, all of a sudden, they intimidated. But when they thought you was weak, when they thought you was a pushover, when they thought you was out here being a flunky, when they, when they was kicking and laughing with their partners, their homegirls, their sexual partners, they swinging partners and all the rest of this, when they was doing all this, you heard me? And they was laughing about your pain, thinking that they up you, thinking that they got one up on you, thinking that they was winning, that they blew your top back. When they was thinking about that, they did all this to you. They ain't touching, they ain't phase you. But they thought that they did because they ain't see you. Because you was isolated. They ain't know that you was in isolation. You was getting your mind right. You was conquering the demons that you was faced with. They ain't know that you was fighting battles. And every battle that you felt, you overcame. See, but they still choose to try to throw stuff your way. And now that same pressure they try to bring at your door, that pressure is 10 times harder at their door and they can't take it. You heard me? Some of them, some of them doing hair on, some of them smoking weed, popping beans, doing all of the going crazy, talking to the walls and shit, doing all kind of stuff. Can't even focus. Can't even hold a decent conversation. Lost their high position jobs. Looking at, looking at, uh, in the community, looked at, looked at as a fraud. Scared, embarrassed to show face. They embarrassed to go outside and show their face around. Because of all the stuff that they did. All the lies that they told. Secrets are continue gonna come out. More than this gonna come out. They think because they they think they because they know judges, they know lawyers, they know police officers, they know this one, they didn't know they know that one, that they gonna be safe. Ain't nobody safe. Ain't nobody safe. Everybody who didn't came against the chosen one, put their mouth on the chosen one, try to stop the chosen one, everything, man. Ain't nobody safe. Not your mama, not your daddy, not your kids, not your roaches, not your rats. Ain't nobody safe. Because you brought all this karma and destruction to your own self, your own house, your own though. And I'm going to send a condolence out to any of y'all who have then lost somebody by playing this wicked game that you was playing, thinking you was going to win. Not knowing that karma has everybody's address. And if karma can't get to you, it'll get to somebody you love, point blank and period. That's how the universal laws go. And I suggest you study to show yourself approval. You heard me? You reap what you sow. So everything you sent out on a chosen one couldn't touch a chosen, didn't affect the chosen one. Now it's going back to y'all. 
You wonder why you're losing your children. You wonder why your children being abused. You wonder why your children going crazy. You're wondering why you're losing your house. You wonder why your car is being repossessed. You wonder why you're losing your job. You wonder why your pants dropping like fires because of what you did and try to hurt a chosen one. You wonder why everybody isolating you. Everybody counting you out. Nobody want to be your friend. Nobody want to be your homie. Everybody writing statements on you now. You want to know why? Because when you went against the chosen one and start doing the, and writing fake cases on them, calling the hotlines, doing fake, uh, making fake reports on them, you reek what you sow. Everything you tried to do to a chosen one is now here. You're coming back to your karma is real. You made your bed lying. Now you're scared in the bed that you're lying in. Now you try to spin the bin. And asking a chosen one. Now you want some advice from a chosen one. Now you want the chosen one to help you. You heard me? Help you to understand what they did and how they can get out of it. Now you're trying to, the same people you went to, to try to hurt a chosen one, is the same ones you're trying to go pay to try to stop. You see, but guess what? You, them, and everybody that was involved and everybody that knew about it is going down. It's going down because of the actions that you choose to make. You choose to doing it. See, the devil knew, the devil knew you was a weak vessel. So he used you to divide you so you could miss your blessings. You heard me? See, the ones that came against the chosen one, y'all could have created something. You heard me? You could, you could have created something. You could have got somewhere, but the devil knew to use y'all to divide it. Cause the devil knew if he got you in your head, that he could take a lot of whole flunky menus down with him to divide every last one there. And that's just what he did. See, what you fella realize is the devil set you up. Not only did he set you up, he set your homegirl up, your partner up, your baby daddy, your husband, your co-worker, your auntie, your uncle, your grandma. He set all y'all up. You heard me? Your secret lover. All y'all up that, that teamed up against the chosen one. He set all y'all up. Now y'all facing jail time. Y'all planning funerals. You heard me? You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're going to the pawn shop to pawn two power tools and all the rest of this stuff by trying to come against a chosen one. You try to hurt a chosen one. Try to get a chosen one uh, killed, kidnapped. Try to rob a chosen one. Try to come in a chosen one house when they're not there. You try to do too much to somebody who God has his hands on. To someone who God has chosen. To lead and guide and teach and wake up the blind. Somebody who God has given a power and authority to heal people with his, their words. His or her words. You choose to come against the chosen ones. So now you want to choose which way you got to pay. No, you can't choose which way you got to pay. Because you got to pay the devil. And you got to pay God for messing with his child. See, y'all need to study the universal laws. Y'all just thinking that's all fun and game. This is not fun and game. Life is not a joke. Laughter is good for the soul, but life is not a joke. And it's not to be played with. Because we are all on board with times. You remember how you was just talking to your homegirl? How about, oh yeah, girl, we got her, huh? We got her, huh? Oh yeah, boy, you see, yeah, that boy, that boy going through, that boy going through. And then you get a, a, a call two days later that your homegirl or your homeboy is deceased. You understand what I'm saying? Be careful who you team up with to go against a chosen one. Know who you dealing with before you try to go behind somebody back and hurt them. Know who you coming up against. Know what rank they place in the spiritual realm. Know who you playing with. Study to show yourself approval. Stop looking at everybody in the physical eyes and look at them with your spiritual eyes. You see, because I'm going to tell you something. You see, they can see that you can see somebody and they can look toe up from the flow up. In the physical eyes, but in the, in your spiritual eyes, you can see that they're a billionaire. You know how rich people stay rich? They don't floss. They don't show what they have. They'll play broke to the end. But you see somebody broke, the minute they get a little change, they go get goals, veneers. 
They go get all this Gucci, Gavana, all these fancy purses, watches, and all that. Don't invest nothing, but want to be a show ho. Try to outdo somebody else. Okay? Stop looking at what people have and what they don't have. And ask God to remove the scales of your eyes so you can see people really for who they truly are. You know that bum you pass up on the streets? That bum could be a millionaire, but God probably said that person there and told that person to dress like that just to test you. You never know where your blessings coming from and who your blessings going to come from. Learn to stop putting your mouth on people and learn to stop trying to help hurt people. Because that same person that you use to try to destroy their reputation, humiliate them and do all the rest of that, going to be that same person that God used, that same person that God, gonna you're going to have to use. God going to make that same person be the person you need to help you out in some kind of form or way. And if it's not you, it's one of your children. So be careful. If you got children in this world and you out here doing evil stuff and you trying to hurt somebody else and you got children out here in this world, be careful. Because what you do don't just fall up on you, it fall up on your children. So be careful the seeds you sow on. Be careful who you putting your mouth on. Mm. Be careful of who you trying to hurt because you don't know who God has chose. You don't know who's God chosen one. You don't know who got an anointing on their life. You don't know who got a calling on their life. You don't know who destined for greatness. Keep your mouth off of folks. It's your girl, Bri. I love you guys. Peace.